Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, I'll be using Content Aware Move to recompose an image. So let's jump into Photoshop and see what's what. So here I am in Photoshop, and you can see that I've got my recomposed image just here. This is what I'm aiming for, but let's take a look at the original. Now you can see that the windmill and the mill are quite a distance apart. And that really doesn't work well because there's a lot of dead area in the middle. So what I'm hoping to do here is to move the windmill closer to the mill and the river. Now to do that, I'm going to use Content Aware Move, and I can find that in the toolbar. It might be hidden under the Spot Healing Brush tool, and it's got the keyboard shortcut of J, but you may have to scroll through to get the one you want. Now all I have to do is come along and put a selection around what I want to move. So there we go. Put a selection around. And we've got a selection just like we do with other selection tools. And in fact, in essence, what we're doing here is using the lasso tool, which means that we've got a few more modifier keys that we can use. So if I use the shift key, I can add to the selection and I can bring in the fence there. And these two bushes is actually what I'm after. There we are. But I can also take away from the selection. So if I press the alt key, I can then come along and just draw and take away from the selection. Now with my move tool, my content aware move tool rather, selected, I can just pick that up and move it across. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these two bushes on the left hand side and overlap them slightly of the willow tree and see how Photoshop copes with that. Just release the mouse, off it goes and does its thing. And once it's done, it presents us with the results. Now that's not too bad at all. But we seem to have lost the two bushes. Now this is because of the setting up here in adaptation. So if I click and hold that down. You can see that we've got structure of one. Well, the structure can be one to five. So let's go and put five there and see what difference that makes and press enter or return. Off it goes, recomposes itself. And sure enough, up come some bushes. Now somewhere between the two is actually what I'm after. So let's put three. There we go. And again, it's going to go off and do its thing. Now you'll also notice that not only is it moving it and blending it together, but where I've moved it from is having some content aware fill done to it. Now in this case, it's working okay. We've got some nice trees there, but then we've got this sudden bit of grass that I don't really like very much, but that's okay because what I wanted to do here is actually recompose it into a square. So I'm not going to see that anyway. Let's pop this across to there. There we go, and click the tick. So there we go. Using the Content Aware Move tool to recompose an image is an absolute breeze using Content Aware Move. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me here. Don't forget to join us all over at tipsquirrel.com. And of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel where you'll find all kinds of Photoshop stuff. Until next time, bye-bye for now.